The alert is one of the most important tools a streamer can use. You can use them to celebrate a hype moment, thank your audience for their support, or use custom assets to better personalize and grow your brand. Here are 10 tips to make your stream elements alerts the best they can be. Let's lift off. Even if you only want to use stream elements for the alert box, learning how to use our full overlay editor system will help you start learning ways to sort and optimize alerts for all your streams. From adding editors to easy alerts duplication, a world of options exist for you in our in-browser cloud-based system. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our ultimate editor guide from earlier this year. We'll leave a link for you in the description so you can check it out. Your alerts are one of your best ways to show appreciation to your supporters, and professional quality visuals are a huge way to make a great first impression. For starters, you've always got our alerts and super themes built right into Stream Elements. From the dashboard, just go to Streaming Tools, then Overlays Gallery, and you can demo dozens of alert boxes and full stream overlays. As always, all of our tools are completely free, and you can instantly use any of our alerts and themes by clicking Create to get started. If you're looking for even more options, our system is friendly with the biggest premium streaming asset sellers. You can find hundreds of awesome paid alerts from sites like Owned and Nerd or Die. Both of these sites in particular offer an easy integration to get full alerts packages and settings right into the overlay editor. Looking good. If you really want to take things to the next level, instead of going pre-made, you can make your own custom alerts. And if you're not exactly an artist, you can always commission someone to make the alerts package of your dreams. At Stream Elements, we have a partnership with Fiverr where you can work with graphic artists for streamers, seeing their rates and examples of their work in advance. We also have a community of Stream Elements artists in our official Discord. Join up easily by going to discord.gg se and you can find our Art Commissions channel in the Legendary Resources section. Just make sure to respect your awesome artists by communicating clearly with them about what you want to make, how much it will cost, and how long the job is expected to take. Teamwork makes a dream work. Submitting with the correct video format can make a huge difference for your alert quality on stream. WebM videos are much higher quality than GIFs, have a smaller file size than MP4s, and can still preserve transparency as well, letting you create alerts that really pop against the background of a stream. Stream artists are becoming more familiar with this file type, but if you've never used a WebM video file before, we recommend checking out webmproject.org to get the codec and learn more details on how to convert your video files using the video editor of your choice. If you're making a full overlay with Stream Elements, some streamers prefer to keep their alert box in a separate overlay from all their other elements in OBS. With this setup, you'll use two different URLs from your My Overlay settings and import your overlays and alerts separately. If you already have everything on one page but want to split it up, here's what to do. Go to My Overlays, create a new overlay, name it something you'll remember, and save it. Then, on your overlay with everything, select your alert box in the layers at the left and click Duplicate. If you click Send to Other Overlays, you can send your alert box straight to your new empty overlay and eventually remove it from here once you've double-checked it. Most stream element sources default to the common 1080p resolution, but with just an alert box imported into OBS, you're left with unwanted transparent space around the source. To fix this, you can do one of two things. One is crop around the transparent space in OBS so that it's easier to select and move around. The easiest way to do this is holding down Alt or Option and dragging your selection to only include what shows up on the screen. Your other option is to change your resolution in Stream Elements first. Go to My Overlays, click the three dots, click Properties, and change your resolution from there. Once in the Overlay Editor, you may have to click the Center Widget button to move your alerts into a new smaller resolution. Just remember, when you import your browser source back into OBS, make sure to use the new resolution for your source here as well. Ta-da! Nice and clean! There are a lot of different things you can announce in the alert box, including followers, subscribers, tips, and raids. While it's fun to celebrate everything, there are some steps you can take to keep your alerts from getting out of control. When you have everything enabled in one alert box, all events that happen in your stream load as a queue. For this reason, some streamers like to create two alert boxes to handle separate queues, especially with followers as their own queue, because they're the most common event. 
You can also disable certain types of events if you're worried about one type going off too often and distracting the stream. You can also control events from your activity feed, which you can use in browser by clicking activity feed here from your dashboard. You can also get the activity feed right inside OBS with our se.live plugin at streamelements.com se live. If you missed a big event or want to replay one, you can click this button to replay an alert. You can also pause alerts, skip alerts, or mute alert sounds to breathe if you need to. And if you need a completely clean slate, you can click the double check marks to mark all as red, wiping out your queue entirely. Alerts are exciting, but with extra control, you can make sure they never get too distracting. In addition to different types of alerts, you can also specialize each alert category with variations. By default, here's your alerts, sounds, and settings that will play when someone subscribes. But if you click down to variation settings, we also have three more set up for you. Special text and behavior that plays for resubs, gift subs, and multi-gift subs. Under cheer alerts, you'll also find preset variations with unique sounds and animations set to different sizes of bits. If you're setting up your own custom alerts for the first time, it's easy to miss these variations. So feel free to swap your animations out here or disable them entirely if you don't want the default sounds to play. Variations give you a lot of freedom to build around your brand with the conditions at the top. Have a funny in-joke or a number that's important to the game you play? You can make a tip alert that goes off for exact tip amounts. Or you can encourage bigger tips with a special alert that goes off whenever someone drops the new highest tip of your stream. Just remember, the more unique variations you set up, the more animations and sounds you and your mod team will have to keep track of during a stream. A common question we get at Stream Elements is users wondering how to customize their alert fonts. Here's how to go one level even deeper and switch up that text. For starters, all of your text settings are in this menu down here. This already opens up a ton of options like fonts, colors, spacing, and more. By default, you can choose from hundreds of pre-installed Google fonts for your messages. But for those of you who like to download, purchase, or even make your own custom fonts, here's how to get them running in Stream Elements. First, install the font on your streaming computer, usually done by double-clicking a TTF or OTF file. Then, in your text settings, click Enable Custom Font, and then type the exact name of your custom font in the Custom Font Family box. After restarting your browser and OBS, your custom installed font should be showing up right away. We get it. All of these alert settings and optimizations can be stressful. And it's even more stressful making sure that everything is actually going to play correctly while you're actually streaming. And that's why our final tip of the day is to test all of your alerts first. The emulate bell icon is where you can go to test every possible type of alert that might come your way during a stream. And we recommend you go through everything to make sure all of your alerts play to your satisfaction. If you notice you're hearing your alerts twice closely, there's a reason for that. When the preview live on stream box is checked, your alerts will also play directly in any browser source you've added to OBS. You might want to click the mute audio button in the editor so that you only hear the alert once while testing. Practice makes perfect. We built the Stream Elements system to give you as much freedom as possible with your alerts, and we hope you enjoy trying it out for hyping your big streaming milestones. And speaking of alerts, if you've watched the video this far, consider clicking the like button, subscribing to our channel, and turning on alert notifications so that you're ready to catch our newest videos. We'll see you next mission for more Stream Elements tips and tricks.